Welcome to my apiary. It's Monday, October the 2th, 2023. Uh, it's a decently nice day. A little bit of a northern breeze, so that's always a bit cooler. But I think it's about 18C and overcast. So it's, it's a nice day to work outside. It's not desperately hot, but it's not cold. Uh, today is uh, really just a syrup mixing day, as I mentioned. Um, Yesterday, I got some rest. Uh, well, we went to town for su supplies, so that's, you know, not just resting. But it was uh, a mental rest away from the cares of the farm, uh, which is really nice. It uh, was very well received, for sure. And, of course, the only other thing I really did was bring this unit from the back into uh, up into the front where I can reach my water supply. So... Um, I, I just need a bit of syrup here and I can't decide how much I want to mix. I'm thinking I want to mix around 200 liters. So maybe I'll split the difference between 100 and 200 and go 150 liters of water and 300 kilograms of sugar. And that'll give me uh, more, than, more than 200 liters of syrup and less than 400. We'll get to 150 liters of water in here. I may put a little more in uh, because there's quite a bit of precipitant in my tank right now. And that doesn't do anybody any good. It's kind of wasted money. So we're working with what I call the small trailer today. It's a pretty big trailer, but it's of the two, it's the smaller of the two. Eh, two yellow jackets in one shot. Be nice to have a little valve on my garden hose. Oh. So this is one situation where this water meter shines is uh, the tank is not level. So trying to go by the gauge on the tank uh, is not going to work so well. But that, that thing will tell me. We're up to 20, 23 liters now. Now I can see that I've got a, a flaw in my design. And that's mostly because my design is not complete. But when I changed this, I didn't incorporate a valve here. There's no way to shut off the, the serving circuit from my plumbing. So I, I can't start my pump. It would just shoot syrup, syrup out the back. <laughs> That's not what I'm going for. <clears throat> so what I need to do is I need to go and get that, uh, that ball valve. There's a ball valve a lot like this one. That's uh, one inch. I need to get that ball valve and uh, I've got a couple other plumbing parts to uh, change this. I bought, a, I bought a pressure gauge so I can monitor the pressure on there uh, with an eye to then change that to a pressure relief system. So that I need to do before I can start mixing the syrup, before I can start the pump at all. So we're at 98 liters now. 105 almost, there you go. I'd like to run it with just the water, just to see if I can dissolve some of that sugar. You can see the sugar in the bottom here. When I lifted the tank, I could tell it was heavy. Okay, so here's some of the new parts I bought. <clears throat> I took this coupler out of uh, the pipe and I want to put this T in there. So I need to put some one inch nipples. This is called a nipple. Just a piece of pipe that's threaded on both ends. And I don't know 
how long it gets before it's no longer a nipple and it's actually a piece of pipe. <clears throat> However, uh, put Teflon tape on the threads. Now there's some, some types of fittings that uh, the face of them is beveled and that'll <clears throat> match up to a bevel inside. And those kind of fittings don't seal on the threads. So Teflon tape, you can still put Teflon tape if you want. Uh, it helps things keep from seizing up and locking together. Makes it easier to tighten, all that kind of stuff, but it doesn't do anything for sealing the joint. But these are not that kind of fitting. This is called NPT, National Pipe Thread. Okay, and when you put the Teflon on, roll it off the outside of the roll like this and turn your fitting clockwise like you're tightening it and you don't want to put it on the other direction and what will happen if you put it on the other direction is the free end of the teflon can ball up on the uh, mating surface and fail okay so I need this one on here for my valve. So my valve is gonna go here. And then my, that's pretty good shape, but I'm just gonna put one more little wrap of Teflon on that. One thing about Teflon, it does make it easier to tighten fittings. So you can easily crack fittings with Teflon. Now this is the only fitting the store had. It's a brass fitting, it cost me plenty. This will be for my pressure gauge. And it's too bad it cost me a lot because pressure gauge is a temporary measure just to learn what kind of pressure I prefer at my nozzle. Uh, this is a bushing, again, this bushing, this is a, that's a three quarter fitting. These are one inch fittings. So I need to put a bushing in to bring the one inch down to three quarter inch. like that and this is bushing too really it's just a brass bushing and now my my little gauge here and this goes from 0 to 100 psi and I'm pretty sure you know if I'm going to guess I'm going to be running less than 50 psi I think a little bit of tough one on that. It's kind of hard to do. Now I don't want to crank on this housing. There's a square here that will work with my wrench. I'll just get a smaller adjustable wrench for that. And I can tighten all three of these doing this. How tight? I don't know. And I think I want that gauge oriented about that way. I think that's going to sit about like that, so. Uh, 
One more half turn. <clears throat> okay, that's my valve. Can easily reach that. And this whole thing will thread into the pipe that I have out there already. And now I can shut that off to block off the serving circuit and make it all go up the agitation circuit. Okay. Yeah, one of my difficulties is there's a long ways over there. The other one is uh, it's going to clear the tank, but not by much. I could jump up in the trailer, but I'm going to try to do it this way. And so you can see how, just like in this one, I'm using the T as a T and an elbow. I want to change the direction of that. But I also need a T. So just by using the T strategically, see what I did there? I can accomplish both without having a separate elbow. You have to watch how much leverage you have, how much you're tightening it. The more leverage you have, the tighter you can make it, and the more likely you can crack something. I think I can go around again. If I'm gonna crack it, it'll be the, the outside, and this is a pretty robust part. So I can get it tight. I can tighten it more. I think that can sit just like that. I can open this now. It's a stiff valve. Open this one. And I'll start the pump. I'll run the pump a while uh, to see if I can dissolve some of that sugar. That thing fired. Six months it didn't take me to max those cards again. <laughs> 